the speeches. But first, some real magic. Real magic. Okay, real magic. Are you ready? Oh. Steve, can you just check that finger, please? That is a real finger. That's a real finger, thank you. And this one. That's also a real finger. Two real fingers, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Steve do you want to reverse it? Oh no! <laughs> It's time for your main event. <laughs> Coming to you live from Thatchet, Berkshire, <laughs> Windsor, <laughs> the sailing club, the sunshine capital of the world. <laughs> for you, the paying audience, and millions of you watching around the world, <laughs> let's get ready to rumble. In the speeches, please give it up. It's not easy to come up here and do a speech, especially because he's the proudest man in the room. Give it up for John Fulman! Thank you. Everyone hear me okay? Yeah. 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 That's the right answer. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Put glasses on. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for coming today and celebrating the marriage of Louise and Paul. Do you know, the last time I stood up in front of this many people, it was to say guilty, Your Honour. <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to thank those of you who have travelled a long way to be here today, such as Steve and Mandy from Dubai, mm -hmm. and Patrick, Jane and Harrison from Burnham-on-Sea. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank Paul, Paul, thank Paul's mum and dad, Jim and Nita, for their support and kindness towards Louise. Unfortunately, Nita was unable to attend today, as she is unwell. Therefore, our thoughts and prayers are with her for a full and speedy recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Louise and Paul have worked very hard today very hard planning today. I think we will all agree they have done a fantastic job. Yeah. Yeah. They have both financially supported today, which is a real achievement when you consider they are buying their own home and raising a family. So well done to you both. I was delighted when Paul proposed to Louise. He really has made her dreams come true. Although being a Gemini, he did keep us all waiting a while. <laughs> Welcome to the family, Paul. Paul is a good man. He is honest and down to earth. And like his wife, he is someone who strives... Get some heckling. Heckling from Leo. So, so it's, it's my moment. Okay. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I'm just going to have to let that go. We're going to have to let that go. And like his wife, he is someone who strives to be the best in everything he does. And therefore, I think they are a perfect match. Marriage is not an easy path, but if you are honest, loyal to each other, and support one another, your love will overcome most of life's challenges. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> totally on cue as well. <laughs> okay. Marriage is about communication and compromise. Therefore, Paul. When Louise speaks, you just do as you're told. <laughs> and just one final thought for Paul. Paul, could you put your hand on top of Louise's, please? Now savour this moment, son. This is the last time you'll have the upper hand. <laughs> I wasn't surprised 
at how good Louise was at organising today. Because even as a little girl, she always knew what she wanted. And oh yes, she certainly knew how to get it. My lovely daughter even wanted to write my speech to make sure nothing went wrong. <laughs> That same sweet, determined little girl has grown up into the beautiful bride you see before you. Louise, you look absolutely stunning. You have always made me proud of you, and today more so than ever. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Heckler's been barred. <laughs> it was one summer morning in Taplow when this sweet little girl arrived into my world and changed it forever. She has never stopped making me smile. Every milestone, a moment to remember. The wonderful memories I have of Louise growing up are so special and will stay with me always. She always reached her goals and then looked forward to the next challenge. Firstly, she passed her 11 plus, then her GCSEs, and finally all of her A-levels. How proud was I? Was that enough? No, of course not. She then decided to go traveling to the other side of the world with her friends, sorry, her best friends, Claire and Jodie. I was so pleased when she arrived home safely. I had just started to relax, when off she goes again, meets the man of her dreams, had a fantastic little boy, Leo, and then decides to go into business with her best friend, Claire. I then ask what's coming next. <laughs> That's right, we're nearly there. I know all us dads believe our little girls are angels, and I am no different. Although my little angel's halo did slip just the once, <laughs> on holiday in Spain one year, Louise decided she wanted to match her brother's bravado and come down the biggest, meanest water slide in Spain. This slide started halfway up a mountain, but that was not going to put my determined little angel off this challenge. I couldn't watch, so I headed off to the bar to calm my nerves. About ten minutes later, I could make out this lone, drenched figure walking towards me. It was, of course, Louise, sobbing. Her hair was one big spike, pointing into the air, caused by the 50-mile-an-hour entry into the water at the end of the slide. <laughs> However, funnier than her clown impression was the very strange walk she was doing. <laughs> As she got nearer, all became clear. Sorry, darling. <laughs> the force when she hit the water had made her bikini bottoms suddenly move upwards. <laughs> Hence the funny wedgie walk she was doing. <laughs> as she was desperately trying to remove them from their newfound home. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to tell her at the same time she had plunged screaming into the water that her bikini top had also dislodged itself <laughs> and she had walked halfway around the water park with her top only covering one half of her <laughs> if you know what I mean I don't think she has been on a water slide since and I'm pleased to say the wedgie walk is now gone <laughs> now on a serious note if I had any useful advice to pass on to Louise and Paul as they set off as man and wife it would be to try and laugh together as often as they can. Be best friends, don't keep secrets, and above all, trust each other. From the moment this little girl was born, she has made me laugh and cry. She has made me proud, filled my heart with love, and given me so many unforgettable memories. Louise, thank you for being such a wonderful daughter. I am the luckiest dad in the world. You have brought joy and happiness into my life, for which I am eternally grateful. My wishes for you are good health and good fortune. May your life be filled with love and laughter, and any tears be tears of joy. I wish you all the happiness in the world, darling.
Right. Mike's just looked at his watch, which is a signal that he needs a drink, <laughs> and that I have gone on for far too long. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you could all stand, I would like to propose, propose a toast. Please raise your glasses to the bride and groom. The bride and groom.